What up YouTube fam, hope you're all doing well. Today, I'll show you my take on a special dish from our Spanish friends. Chicken chilindron or pollo al chilindron. This delicious stew is full of aromas as well as being super delicious. Couple it with either some rice or bread and a simple salad and you've got an amazing meal. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. First, let's prepare some veggies. Get eight medium tomatoes and score like so, using a sharp knife. Then, let's blanch these in some boiling water for about two to three minutes. You'll then be able to peel the skin off these tomatoes quite easily. Peel all of them and chop into small cubes to use later. Alternatively, if you're lazy and you want to use tomatoes tinned eons ago, you can easily substitute this for a can of chopped tomatoes. Next, get four capsicums or peppers, ideally two of both red and green colors. Split these in half and remove the seeds like so. Afterwards, slice them thinly as shown. Now, let's butcher a whole chicken. Here, I have a medium-sized chicken, a little more than two kilos. Firstly, pull a leg away from the chicken and using a sharp knife, cut like so until you get to the joint. Then, cut in between the two bones and separate the leg like so. Repeat likewise with the other leg. It's a similar process with the wing. Pull the wing away from the breast meat and cut in between to expose the joint. Then separate like so and repeat for the other side. To separate the two breasts, cut right down the middle, as close to the breastbone as you can. And when you reach the ribs underneath, let these guide your knife until you separate the breast. Repeat the same process for the other side. Don't throw away the rest of the carcass. You can easily use it to make stock or cut into pieces and use it in a curry to give it more flavor. Now cut each breast into three pieces. With the wings, cut and discard the wing end and separate into a winglet and drumlet like so. Next, separate the thigh and drumstick of the legs and remove the knuckle from the drumstick like so. Now season all these pieces with salt and pepper and set aside for about an hour. Don't forget to wash your hands and everything you used with warm soapy water, especially after working with raw chicken. Now, let's get cooking. Heat up your largest pan with four to five tablespoons of olive oil. Next, sear your chicken pieces on all sides. You only want to give color to the chicken at this point to give the dish maximum flavor. Fry in batches to avoid the heat of the oil from dropping too quickly. Remember, you want to sear the chicken, not boil it. Next, you're going to need four fresh chorizos, removed from the casings and diced into small cubes. Of course, you can swap these out to chicken or lamb-based sausages, but make sure they are on the spicy side. Now add the chorizos to the same oil you fried your chicken in, and fry until the oil turns red and the sausages take up some color. This will take about three to five minutes. To this, add two medium-sized onions that have been sliced, along with five cloves of sliced garlic, followed by two to three sprigs of fresh rosemary or about four to five teaspoons of dried rosemary. And now cook these through for a few minutes until the onions soften. Next, add to that the sliced peppers and stir in for a minute. Now it's time to add your fresh or canned chopped tomatoes and cook these through for a couple of minutes. And then add about 75 mils of white wine. Of course, 
you can skip this and replace with more stock water of the same amount in just a little bit. Add a heaped teaspoon of smoked paprika and stir well. Now add in your chicken pieces along with the amazing resting juices. Follow that up with a pinch of saffron and 400 ml of chicken stock. Now turn down the heat to a gentle simmer, cover with a lid and cook the chicken for about an hour until fully cooked through. Once done, serve with rice or bread along with a simple salad. Here I tossed up some iceberg, sliced red onions, cucumber, mint leaves with a squeeze of lemon juice and a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now enjoy this hearty meal with family and friends and savor each bite. Hope you love this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Hope you all have an amazing day. Let's meet again very soon. Until next time, peace.